got the dad slippers. Feel me? The dad slippers. Hey everybody, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we'll be making a delicious, delicious <laughs> roasted butternut squash grits, followed by what? Tuscan kale, some homemade turkey sausage, topped with some caramel goat cheese, and a beautiful runny yolky poached egg on top. Ooh, yolky. Yes, yolky. Stay tuned as we get into this cooking channel. So today, what we're gonna start off first is we're gonna start off by peeling and cubing up our butternut squash. So first what I do is I take off the two ends. So now that we have our butternut squash, the skin is off and also gutted, we're now gonna go ahead and cube these into small, um, smallish cubes. I like to do it in small dices only because it gives them a much faster cooking time and it cuts down the process like almost by half, like times three or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the four corners first. So now that we have our butternut squash beautifully cubed up, now we're gonna go ahead and season them with um, olive oil, and then we're also gonna season them with paprika, ginger, cinnamon, salt, pepper, and onion powder. So just go ahead and sprinkle it over. Alright everybody, so now we're gonna move on to roasting our Tuscan kale. Right now I just popped the butternut squash in the oven at a 425 degree temperature. So now with the kale, we're just gonna do we'll simply season it with salt, pepper, and then with olive oil. <laughs> And we left the stems mm -hmm. in it because I don't mind it. Like if you cook it properly, it still tastes good. But some people don't, so just yeah. take it off the stems if you don't like it. No, oh, I don't like the I don't like the stems in the can. Oh. Extra fiber. Like no seriously. Number one, honestly, if you have all the time in the world to take stems off the kill, hey, so be it. But if you know you in a rush and you really don't want to take off the stems off the kill, trust me, they could be a pain in the butt. All you gotta do is simply just, you know, chop them up as small as possible. You don't want like the thick cut stems on your kill. And then just saute them up, whatever you wanna do. Boom. So we can pop this up in the oven with the butternut squash. Let these roast for about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna come back with that, check it out. Stay tuned, we're gonna keep going. Next, we're gonna go on to the. <laughs> next, we're gonna go on to the homemade turkey sausage, followed by the grits. All right, everybody, welcome back. So now we're gonna get started on our homemade turkey sausage. Follow me over here to the stove. 
So right now we have all natural ground turkey that we purchased from Trader Joe's. Shout out Trader Joe's, you guys are the best. You guys got the best products. So, <laughs> so now we have our cast iron over medium heat. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw in the ground turkey block as a whole. Just to form that crust on both sides. And then season it, salt, pepper, and your good. Okay, so now that our meat's on medium heat, we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning next. I'm gonna be using salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a small pinch. Go ahead. And you also wanna make that you overly aggressively season your meat only because it's like, it's sweet and you wanna overly aggressively season it. Like, plain and simple. No We're not powder. too salty. Next, onion powder. Now, now I'm gonna add in some fresh sage leaves. Ground turkey, just make it pop. I don't want to do it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and flip. Go ahead and beat that up off the pan. And then see that nice beautiful touch. That's what you want. Golden brown and delicious. That nice GBD. Hold and brought me to look at this one. This is how you want anything to be. Once you sear it in the cast iron pan, just let it sit, like I said. Like you said. Don't, don't touch it, just don't let it sit. It. You see that nice, beautiful part right there? That's just this one every single time when you cook in your protein. Alright, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start crushing up. The ground turkey into chunks. You don't want like you know too small of chunks like you know your ground beef taco meat. But you want to make sure that with each bite of the dish that you get everything. You know you get your grits, you get your poached egg, and you get your turkey sausage. So we're just gonna start crushing these up. And just like that, now we have our homemade turkey sausage already done. I just pulled out the banana squash out of the oven, as well as the Tuscan kale. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the grit making process. All right, hey everybody, so we're back. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take half of the <laughs> Half of the batch from the roasted banana squash and pureed actually to fold into the grits. So all you need is a blender, a bit of liquid um, to help soften it up and get it to that liquid consistency that we really want and need. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water for right now. <laughs> Alright, hey everybody, we're back. What we're gonna get started on next is our brown butter. <laughs> Wait. That just threw me off. Nah, yeah, that just threw me off. Alright, hey everybody, we're back. What we're gonna get started on next is our brown butter roast and squash. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna get started on our brown butter butternut squash grits. All right, so now we have our stove top on medium heat. Crank it. We're gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of butter. Brown, that's what you want. Brown what? Brown butter. We're gonna add our sage. All right, so now that we have, you know, the butter brown, the sage mixed in there, and now the grits toasted, we can go ahead and add our four cups of milk. Alright, hey everybody. So, real quick, so what we're gonna show you is how to poach an egg um, to go on top of our butternut squash grits dish. And I'm just gonna teach you quickly how to do that. So, what we have right now is a pot of water on medium heat with um, a little bit of vinegar inside of it. We just eyeballed it. So, what we're gonna do is just simply just crack your egg. directly into the water. Alright, so now here is the finished product. We're gonna just gonna take a sliding spoon to pull out the poached egg. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and lay it on, you know, a plate with napkins to towel blot it and to remove any of the excess egg whites. And then egg number two. And there you have it. Hi everyone, thank you all for tuning in on finding out how to make this delicious butternut squash grits. We have some roasted Tuscan... <laughs> we got some roasted Tuscan kale, some roasted butternut squash. I showed you guys how to cut, season, roast. Um, 
Oh, a homemade turkey piece sausage, of sausage with the sage in it. Mm -hmm. um, and a lovely poached egg on top because Sorry. who doesn't want eggs for brunch? And also that extra sauce. Beautiful. Oh, did we mention the goat cheese too? No, not the goat cheese. And we got goat cheese on top as well. Correct. So we're about to dig in, tell you all our, our honest reviews. And yeah. That's so clean. I get like everything in one bite. I feel like my bites are a little huge sometimes. The grits? beautiful nice and creamy as they always should be and then just adding that goat cheese inside of it giving it that stir it just takes the creaminess to like levels beyond one's wildest dreams these okay like i um, everything on in this bowl Definitely make these butternut squash grits like it. Mm. Like I can eat a whole bowl of just that by itself. You have the yummy sage and the grits and the butternut squash and the goat cheese. It keeps it so creamy. And it just, it literally tastes like fall slash winter time. Like, anyways, Anyways, if you like more videos like this and you like this recipe, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave us some comments down below and tell us what you would like to see next. We would next. love to interact with you know everybody, so definitely please, like we said, like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I know Colton's face is very like monotone, but he's being serious. Yeah, I have a natural resting face. <laughs>